Alright everybody, we are back and this time playing some Elise in the top lane. She received a small little hotfix buff, which allows her auto attack and her human form Q to be the exact same distance, so just like that. Which sounds really small, but before you couldn't do that, which means you're not stacking Conquer as fast, but because of the buff now... You can con uh, stack Conquer instantly with three and then go in with your other uh, abilities once you do have a few levels. And then you have Conquer stacked super, super quickly. So Elise is actually really strong in the solo lane because her split pushing power with her spiders is actually kind of huge. And it, because she's off meta champion, it is a pretty big surprise factor for a lot of people. So yeah, we're gonna uh, we're gonna build Nasher's first item, Nasher's into um, oops, Nasher's into the I always forget the item name. I'm gonna have to check. After I click these. Oh, he has. Oh, okay. We're not getting the gank. Which is fine, as long as you just don't die to the ghoulies. Um, boop. Okay, into Riftmaker. I always forget the name, which I probably shouldn't, but I'm on my way. Have ignite. Using the spiders to try and block his Q, which uh, sadly did not work. And that should be a kill. Nice. Huge. Yeah, we just did a lot of damage to that guy. Also, our spiders give us HP when they hit stuff, so that plus Rift Maker is really nice. Ooh, he actually dodged that. Oh my god, wow, he did a lot of damage. Also, none of the minions were hitting him for some reason, which I actually don't understand. I thought I could take that fight just because I had the the massive minion wave. I'm going to grab this. And I'm just going to go like this. So that was my bad. I should have backed off. Also, 80% of you guys are not subscribed to the channel. So if you guys do want to be entered into the giveaways, make sure you are hitting that subscribe button all it uh all it is is hit subscribe and then go to our discord if you don't have a discord account you can just make a random one just you know obviously make sure you uh keep the login and everything <laughs> but yeah just make sure uh you guys have all that and the giveaway details will be coming later this week i don't know what he's doing so now I realize I'm here. <laughs> Stop his back again. Doesn't really cost me anything because I get free mana from our presence of mind. And you guys are going to see here. So I press W and look at the damage we do to the turret. We almost got the tower plate, which we will get here. Boom. Easy peasy. Oh, he is going for, uh... He is going for Lethality Yorick, which is... Kind of annoying to play against, but... I think if I just... If I play it correctly, we're fine. Because I do have Ignite. Oh, 
Also, a little thing to note, Elise, much like Nidalee, level 6 is actually a very strong power spike because you gain more spiderlings, which in turn means more damage. Uh, obviously, Nidalee's is her cougar spells deal more damage. How am I so far behind level wise? Did he get way more, um, way more than I did in terms of XP in that fight down river? Okay, finally I hit six. He is Oom. So, I should be able to push this pretty well for the most part. And I'm just using um, the human form abilities because it gives us spiderlings. So if you're not sure how you get the spiderlings back, that is how you get it. But yeah, this is uh, a pretty difficult matchup just because York can always insta-push back. So it does make it slightly annoying in that aspect, but we do take him down to 70% HP. It's not the worst. But he does have a bit of an item lead, so I do want to back off. And we're going to pick up boots. And a dagger. Stay in spider form because it gives us extra move speed. And we want to skedaddle back top lane. But yeah, like I said, he is going to push uh, extremely hard. But... That should be kind of free for our jungler to gank. Just letting the jungler know that he will be top. Because it will automatically push since he has ulti. But we are pretty much the exact same in CS so in terms of that honestly I'm actually ahead because I have a tower plate and he doesn't I'm trying to uh beat him here wait for his flash perfect so I wait for his flash to come out because we know he has it he hasn't used in lane so we know he has flash so we know he's about to use it and then we can just hit him with the free e in human form and free kill baby sadly a lot of my spiderlings have just died so i'm gonna use abilities on the minions get the extra damage and I'm gonna walk this way and then just straight up fight him because I have ignite and just like that he just lost half his health getting back to lane oh, I could be dead here though oh I'm definitely dead <laughs> Let's see if I can just waste some time Almost killed that guy. Actually almost killed him. If I got the turnaround on him, that would have been massive. I think he just randomly hit 6 too, didn't he? Because it looked like he had 5. Which I was like, oh, okay, in my mind, I'm saying, alright, he doesn't have alt, so that's good. Can't silence me, but apparently he did. Elise is one of those champions, like Quinn, 
where you should be starting in spider form, I feel like. Coming off of a, a death. I don't see uh, any situation where going out in human form is more optimal. Oh, I dodged that. I should be able to just follow up on a kill here. Yep. Nice. Really good solo kill. Coming right back from lane, I get the uh, the conditioning, which gives us a little bit of extra armor and magic resist, which is great, since we are getting, you, you do get, you know, a little bit beefy on this champion. Not like anything ridiculous, but definitely not bad. And he's probably going to shove this. But even if he freezes, it's better I go back now because say he presses alt, then he gets a huge push in like super quickly. And then it's really difficult for us to actually come back into the game because he'll get so many tower plates. But yeah, he doesn't have a full item yet, which is good. So for the most part, we're staying, you know, on par with him. But once we get Nashers, it's such a huge buff because of the on-hit damage, as well as just the flat AP. And he is backing. He could have... There's no way he's going to miss cannon, right? What the hell? It was invisible! That's cheating. That's cheat. Okay, well his biggest time to really get gold in the lane has just ended, so... That is quite good for us, at least. We do want to sit further back, because if he hits an E into W, we pretty much just die. Oh, and there's the E. But he was not fast enough to get a W on us. I don't know if it's warded. He is backing off. Never mind. It is warded, but... And then there's the Elise Burst. Oh, we missed Cannon, but it's fine. Really good ganks for our jungler, and then we follow up. Always let your jungler go, because the skill shot for Jarvan EQ is way easier to hit than Elise. And then you follow up basically right when it ends. And watch this. Look at the damage we're going to put down. It's crazy the amount of attack speed you get with all the spiderlings absolutely crushes turrets. Like, actually just crushes them. I want to make sure we stay for a cannon minion. Oh, there's the blitz. I should be fine to get away. I'm going to use my spiderlings as a block. He was to go for that. You know, we could actually... We could cat. Oh. Okay. He's going to use EQ on that instead. Yeah, see, if he used... If he didn't use it... Then E... Oh, I have, I have red buff, so this guy's just dead. E, W, nice. 
Nice. Good work, Jarvan. Thankfully, he didn't... Uh... He didn't run away there. And it's not like I had a huge lead. Like, I don't even have one item yet. Not a single item. And we just 2v3'd. And Jarvan didn't even have ult, I don't think, did he? Or maybe he did at the very end for the last person. Nah, I can't remember. But yeah, we pretty much have almost two completed items now. It is close, but not there yet. Another thing you can do now with Elise, usually once you get Nashers, um is you want to take the camps on the top side, mainly the Krugs. Same reasoning for Scion, just so you can get overgrowth. Get yourself uh, beefed up with the extra free HP. And then you're just a menace. We don't have Ignite though, so we have to keep that in mind, but we do have our own type of healing and because we do split damage, the Omni Vamp is just that much better. I wasn't sure if I should have gone on that. Because I don't know if, like, Morg is shadowing him or something. Let's see if anybody's here now. Okay. We're minion wave away from two items. Elise really spikes hard on two to three items. Honestly, even one item, like, because of Nashers, like I said, just how effective it is. Oh, I think we're just dead here. <laughs> three people top. Honestly, I wonder if I could have killed him if I had Riftmaker. Because I would get a lot of uh, bonus stats. And a lot of extra healing with the true damage as well coming in. But it's fine. We can go for Demonic next. And Demonic actually got a nice little buff. The flat AP was increased. Which is really nice. And uh, we can... Use that to our advantage, because we have range and we have melee form. Most of your damage is going to come through the melee form anyway, so you're going to get a lot of the damage from that, which is awesome. But yeah, I think I could have killed Ezreal. If I was at two items, I would have killed him. And if I had Ignite, then he for sure would have died. But yeah, uh, honestly... Like, no meme, I do feel like Elise top lane is actually good. If you play this, I think I've said this before in another Elise video, but... If you play Elise with a jungler, like, say, the Jarvan here, I'm not playing with him, but say you were as a duo, in solo queue, you can snowball, like, actually just out of control and, like, pretty much 1v5. It's just that kind of champion where you just kind of take over the game. So you can split push, you can team fight. You're pretty much an assassin, but you're also beefy. You do assassin like damage with a bunch of upfront burst. Thought Blitz was here, but maybe not. See if we can run down. I can't defend this. I mean, it has like one HP, so. Instead, we can push in mid. Oh, he was running the opposite way. He has the slow. Then the true damage is going to come in. Boom, dead. There we go. Your 
easy peasy. So yeah, after Demonic, you can pretty much go whatever you want. You can go for like uh, Zonia's, even Lich Bane, Morello. I'd probably go Death Cap after though, just because at least actually has decent scaling. So you'd get quite a lot of extra burst damage, but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, again, make sure to hit the like button, comment down below, subscribe if you're new, check out our Discord, and hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.